Welcome to Johnson, where we go over trippy true crime and the drama that surrounds it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. After last night, that drama? No. No. What I do have to say is, I obliged to keep my mouth shut. They have not. So, I wanted it to where the subs no longer feel intimidated. The subs no longer feel trapped. And they can watch whoever in the hell they want. They don't pay your bills. You pay theirs. Don't forget that. I love each and every one of the subs that watch. If it wasn't for the subscribers, you wouldn't have a channel. I'm only a quarter of the information that I have. I'm better than that. I have more class than that. But what I- What do you mean you're better than that and you have more class than that? Girl, you rolled with Jim Terry and Mark Terry for months, months. You were a huge integral part of their team. So I would say, no, you don't have any class. No, you're not better than that. Unless suddenly you're choosing to try to be. I mean, that's great. If we're, we're turning over a new leaf and trying to be a decent human being now, that's great. Uh, I hope you do well with it. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this, considering you was backing up Jim Terry and Mark Terry with all their fuck shit, all their doxing, all their manipulation, all their harassment, all their bullying, the way they talk to women. You were there for all of it. Just sitting there on that panel, you know, smiling. Just having a good old time, girl. And why was that? It was because they was helping build your channel up. And they were dropping that cash app of yours. They were requesting super chats for you. So you were cool with it when all that was going down. What I will not do, and what made me come on here last night, is going after collateral damage and the subscribers. Anybody in the background... They do not deserve the intimidation, the threats, the harassment. They don't deserve shit. But, just like I said a second ago, you were part of that. You knew who you was fucking with when you started fucking with them. So to act like you're all pissed off that they're coming for subs or harassing people, nah, girl, miss me with that shit. You were totally down with it when you were part of that team. Just saying, you knew what you was getting yourself into. Just like the subs who watch them know what they're getting themselves into by watching this fool. I mean, come on, man. There's different things to that. Threatening to dox subscribers. And multiple people. Yep, you knew about that, too. What happened to J.D. Jenny really had me appalled. She has one of the biggest hearts I know. Mark my words. I've had many conversations with her. My pleasure. I have been going through getting screenshots, getting texts, getting calls, getting emails of everything that's been said. I try to avoid these assholes. I try to keep the drama out of everywhere unless they bring up my name and I have every right to defend myself. So from here on out, you will not have me talking about them. Last night was it. Just mark my words. Keep my name out of your mouth. And the subscribers or anybody as an intimidation factor or blackmail. That is unfair. That is not cool. That is not right. Uh, did you think that Jim and Mark Terry were cool? Did you think they were fair? Did you think they were right? No. They've proved the opposite time and time again. <laughs> And you still supported them. And now you want to come on here acting like some fucking matriarch to subscribers. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. You ain't no matriarch to these subscribers. We've been standing up for these subscribers and the people that Jim Terry goes for. Queen Bee mainly stands up for these people. And now you want to act like you were doing something for them? You was a part of the problem. Girl, bye. That's where I draw my line. I am here to cover my cases and have fun. 
yeah, and you used to be here to uh, assist Jimmy Con and Mark Terry in doxing, humiliating, harassing, and bullying other subscribers, right? <laughs> Girl, no. I ain't got no real problem with you guidance except for the fact, or Misty, whichever one you want to go by, except for the fact that you was a part of that and now you're not and you're trying to act like you're there and you're being a matriarch or, you know, a protector of subs. No, nah, girl, that's what I have a problem with because you wasn't protecting subs when you was with them. You was assisting them in their bullshit. I'm not one of your normal followers that just, you know, everybody, every community has their followers where no matter what their creator does, They'll, they'll roll with it and they'll ignore the obvious. Well, I'm not one of them. I'm not going to ignore the obvious. The obvious is you took part in all that fuck shit. You were a huge part of all that fuck shit for, the, for several months. And now you want to play matriarch. Fuck that. No. Miss me with that bullshit. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye.